Our prophet. Our prophet. Our prophet. Mecca, Mecca, we see you. Mecca, Mecca, we see you. Mecca, Mecca, we see you. Mecca, Mecca, shame on you. Mecca, Mecca, shame on you. Mecca, Mecca, shame on you. Türk Amerikan yönlendirme komitesi önderliğinde Türk ve Müslüman toplumu olarak Fransa'yı protest etmek için Fransız konsolosluğu önünde toplanmış bulunmaktayız. Peygamberimize yapılan hakaretleri kabul etmiyor ve batıda alışkanlık haline gelen İslam düşmanlığını da lanetliyoruz. Başta Fransa olmak üzere Avrupa ülkeleri İslam dini üzerinden siyaset yapmayı bir an önce bırakmalıdır. İslam dini kimsenin siyasi malzemesi haline gelmeyecek kadar kutsaldır. Barış dini olan İslam'a ve İslam'ın güneşi Hazreti Peygamber'e düşünce özgürlüğü adı altında saldırılar kabul edilemez. Tüm Müslümanlar başta Fransa olmak üzere İslam'a saldıran ülkelerin markalarını kullanmaya bırakmalıdır ve tepkisini de göstermelidir. Bugün burada bizimle olan Meclis-i Şura'ya, Mas, İkna, Muna, Mısır Amerikalılar derneklerine, Arap Müslüman derneklerine ve tüm cami derneklerimizin başkan ve temsilcilerine şükranlarımı sunuyorum. Ve bütün to Türk toplumu olarak ve Müslüman alemine yapılan bu hakaretleri kabullenmemiz mümkün değildir. Onun için e, burada alınan bütün arkadaşlarıma, e, TASK'a özellikle TASK'a TASK görev yapan bütün arkadaşlarıma Canı Göl'den teşekkür ediyor. İyi ki varsınız diyorum. <gülüyor> İslamik Community New York başkanlığını yapıyorum. Ee, burada Fransa'yı e, protest etmeye geldik. Macron en son söylemiş olduğu İslam hakkında konuşmuş olduğu İslam'a fobya yıkmaya geldik. Müslümanların burada Müslüman Komitesi'nin burada neler yapmaya çalıştığını, onlara nasıl bir mesaj vereceğini göstermeye geldik. Sonuçta Müslüm, Müslümanlar bir araya gelirse, Müslüman topluluğu bir araya gelirse neler yapılabileceğini de göstermeye geldik. Her şey İslam için. Bizler Peygamberimiz sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem'i her şeyden daha çok seviyoruz. Ondan dolayı da burada bu yağmur altında e, protesto etmeye geldik Macron'u. <gülüyor> We're gathering today to, to stand up against the French Islamophobia, specifically against Macaron's attempt to vilify our Prophet وسلم, and to vilify Islam and Islamists overall. There's a bigger, there's an issue here at hand that we're, we, we keep assuming that this is a lack of knowledge and a lack of education about our Prophet وسلم, and about Islam. As a matter of fact, the reason that there's an attack on Islam and our Prophet is is precisely because the French society and French uh, colonial powers understand what Islam is about and understand what our Prophet ﷺ was sent for. They understand that Islam was sent or the Prophet ﷺ was sent to establish justice on earth. And they understand that in order for them to continue their Western hegemony over our Muslim lands and, our, and over the global South, they need to vilify Islam. They need to attack Islam because Islam is the moving vehicle, is the ideology that challenges colonialism, is the ideology that challenges capitalism. And for them to, to, uh, uh, to, to make sure that their hegemony is continued and it lasts for a longer period of time, they need to shatter our beliefs and they need to, under to shatter our ideology that moves us into fighting colonialism. And currently, today specifically, we're celebrating the anniversary of the start of the Algerian Revolution. And as we know, Algerian Revolution was started against French colonialism. 
And we understand that the, when the French, when the French went to colonize Algeria, they did not go go there to to um, to educate them about Islam or for them for lack of understanding of Islam. We know precisely that the moving ideology for France in the 19th century was the so-called civilizing mission. And civilizing mission was an ideology for Western powers, specifically France, to say that we are the civilized nations and we need to go and occupy and colonize Muslim lands and other lands in the global south in order for them to bring them from, from being barbaric to becoming civilized like us. These, this is the, the discourse, the political and the intellectual discourse of the 19th century. And this, this was the ideology that moved France to go and colonize and occupy Algeria killing more than a million Algerian uh, indigenous people. So what we are witnessing today uh, is not divorced from the historical context of French racism and French col uh, colonialism and Islamophobia. We, we know exactly from the history and we know from the political power of France and specifically in Africa that they're moving uh, in, in the direction of continuing to attack Islam for mostly two reasons. Number one, to suppress uh, and to force the Muslim uh, uh, French to submit to their version of the worldview, specifically when it comes about secularization. They want them to divorce Islam and to turn Islam into only uh, a spiritual religion that lacks any uh, political, social, and economic understanding of the world. Number two, to continue their war against Muslim lands in order for them to maintain the Western hegemony. And we're actually seeing it today specifically on the attacks on the Turks and the attacks on President Erdogan because they know now that Turkey is rising and becoming a powerful nation that cannot, continue, that cannot be um, harassed uh, like the rest of the Muslim countries because unfortunately they're, we're still living under tyrants uh, that are put in these places by Western, by Western power. So today we want to not just educate our people but educate the public and tell them that this is not about lack of understanding and lack of education and about ignorance of our prophets and our religion. This is a political move that is calculated in order to attack any Muslim who's fighting for justice and any Muslim who's standing against Western hegemony, capitalism, imperialism, and colonialism in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, the whole world. We are here today, this afternoon, in front of the consulate, the residence of the consulate of France to protest against this devil of Macron for blaspheming our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. President Macron, let me tell you, I shouldn't have said President Macron. I just say, would say to you, vaut rien Macron. You know what I mean. You are nothing. You are worse than anybody on this earth, Macron. You know what macaroni is. You're not Macron, you are macaroni. Yes, shame on you. We are telling you, you have six, more than six million Muslims in France. And this religion will keep growing around the world. We are the most, we have the most Believers on this earth, Macron, Vaurier. So let me tell you, be sure, be sure, Macron, that we'll be there. We are in France, we are here in America, and we'll be all over the world. You better be careful. You better be careful. As one said earlier, without Africa, France won't be anything. Without Africa, you wouldn't be there leading that nation. French people are not like you. You are galvanized, you are influenced by the Masons, we know. Cheap Mason you are, but you can't stop us. You can't stop Islam. Islam will be there. Oh, oh, hi! 
لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله you better go and apologize macron apologize to the muslims apologize to the world you are going to make french people the good people in france suffer because of your i wouldn't say the word mistake shame on you macron shame on you i'm a babaka i say it here i say it loud i say it loud aloud loud we are in america shame you on you macron what i want to say i can say it because we are on television vous êtes tué je vais pas dire vous mes amis français excusez moi mais ce président est un vaurien Macron, tu es un vaut rien. Tu n'es rien. Shame on you. Pourquoi tant cette haine Pourquoi cette haine contre les musulmans Pourquoi cette haine contre le prophète Mohammed Ali sallallahu alayhi wa Pourquoi cette haine contre cet homme épris de paix et de justice Pourquoi cette haine envers cette communauté Nous comprenons tous, nous avons tous compris que ce qui est derrière tout cela, ce qui est derrière toute cette machination, ce n'est pas la liberté d'expression qui est en jeu. C'est cette force, cette marche vers la grandeur de l'islam. C'est cette marche de l'islam vers la grandeur. C'est cette avancée que vous ne pouvez pas arrêter. Ce n'est pas la, libre, la, la, la liberté d'expression qui est en jeu. Ce n'est pas la liberté d'expression qui est en jeu. Car, car, car, car tu es le prophète de Mohammed Ali Salam ne vous mènera à absolument rien du tout. Pourquoi vouloir nous offenser Comprends-tu, Macron, parce que je ne, je ne vais pas te vous voyer. Comprends-tu que le prophète Mohammed Ali Salam, il est plus que nous. Nous l'aimons que plus que nous-mêmes. Nous l'aimons plus que notre sang. Yeah. Nous l'aimons plus que nos parents. Allah nous l'aimons plus que nos, notre famille. Allah si on me demandait. Si on me demandait aujourd'hui de tuer Adam Ndiaye, ma fille, au Mohamed Abdallah, au Mohamed, Mohamed Mustafa, au Mohamed Hafiz, mes enfants, je le ferai au nom du prophète Mohamed Ali Salam. Nous l'aimons plus que nous-mêmes, Macron. Donc tu ne comprends pas que cet homme n'est pas ordinaire, qu'il a été choisi, qu'il représente l'exemple le plus parfait. Tu n'as pas entendu Voltaire tu n'as pas entendu Lamartine, tu n'as pas entendu Vigo, ou bien tu n'as pas entendu Mélenchon. Pourquoi cette haine envers nous Pourquoi cette haine envers le prophète Je te dis une chose, tu vas le respecter, Macron. Tu vas le respecter. Tu vas le respecter. La ilaha illallah.